Hi all folks, this is Max from Xenomax.com and NexusSHacks.com. Today what we're going to do is um, we're going to upgrade our Nexus S to the latest version. So let me show you in the simplest way. Go to the Cyanogen mod site. I'll have links. You have to go to the right one with the Crespo. That's the one for Nexus S. And you can download the Nightly or the Stable. Um, I'm going to get the Nightly because I like getting the Nightly. And then once that downloads, we're going to copy it over to our SD card. So uh, click there and turn on USB storage and say OK. All right. And then we're going to copy it over to our SD card. Um, I got it right here. So the last one I had was 30, which I think is like really old but cyanogen mod rom has the new one which is like supposed to be way better i already tried it out um the same version on my g2 phone and it works really well uh let's see just waiting for it to download so five more seconds there you go one more second there you go and then we're going to copy this file over uh the the CM Crespo, copy it over to the root directory of my SD card. All right, then we'll get into some serious hacking or upgrading. In the meanwhile, well, actually, let's just wait. We'll go step by step. So when it's done, I'm going to turn it off, and we're going to upgrade the Clockwork Recovery mod to the latest, latest version, just to make sure we have the latest version. It's always good to do that. I'm going to turn my USB storage off now. Let me uh, zoom in. And uh, what we're going to do, go to the market and go look for a clockwork recovery. Clockwork mod recovery, actually, it's called. But you can just type clockwork. Um, I don't have a SIM card on this one because I have it on my G2 phone right now. Otherwise, I'll have to spend way too much money. Anyway, type. Uh, Lock, boom, work, uh, clockwork, there you go, ROM manager, click on ROM manager, and uh, it's actually downloading now, interesting, and clockwork ROM manager makes it easy, if you get the, uh, the full version, then you can download like the latest version of Cyanogen, like, on the go which is really cool I'll have a video on that later too first I have to go buy it <laughs> I think it's not that it's not even that expensive I think it's like four ninety nine, five bucks it's worth it because I have a bunch of phones the good thing with Android is you buy uh, one phone or you buy an app and it you know you can use it on all your Android phones which is cool so long as the emails are the same Anyway, it's still downloading for some reason. It's taking it forever. I'll be back. I think it's trying to sync my Gmail and everything else. I'll be back. Anyway, we're going to go to the ROM manager now. I've got it updated to the latest version. And flash clockwork mod recovery. And hit Google Nexus S. And this will update your clockwork to the latest version. Why not? And then hit allow. And then we're going to go install ROM from SD card. Go click on that zip file, the Crespo full.zip. And uh, if you want to back up your existing ROM, go ahead. Um, if you're just upgrading, you don't have to do wipe data and cache. Uh, but I'm just going to do it because I'm, I'm on a really older Cyanogen. So I'm going to do OK and OK. And it will reboot and uh, it will install it. So just let it uh, work the clockwork mod the new one to run it kinda takes a little bit while before it starts up so I'm gonna actually try to leave that this down here maybe probably get a better recording here hold on I'm gonna do this instead because my my hands are getting tired and uh, I'll let you see it like this and adjust the camera that beautiful curve 
beautiful curve and just give it another 30 seconds and it should pop up and do its thing and install my new Cyanogen mod ROM um, just have to wait and uh, cross your fingers Doop -doo -doo. and I'm gonna have more uh, I'm gonna have a uh, more ROM reviews uh, the other good ROM for Nexus S is the uh, there you go popped up the other one is the Madako I used Madako when I had Nexus one um, which is nice too and uh, I'm gonna try all the other ROMs so don't forget to check out you know our site nexusshacks.com because we're gonna have all the ROM reviews um, and also I'm, I'll be launching a new site called uh, androiddummies.com where I'm gonna be showing people how to like how to swipe um, or like you know I mean it's not gonna be just for dummies but it will have interesting interesting Android how to's and whatnot anyway it's doing its thing and uh, I think it's actually installed the ROM and hopefully we'll have the latest Cyanogen mod ROM um, I hope so so there you go so I have the mod 7 as you can see before I don't think I had the mod 7 um, because I installed it like a month ago but uh, this is exciting so that's how you install the Cyanogen upgrade it from the older one um, just don't be alarmed when the uh, it takes a while for it to get to the um, this clockwork recovery mod I thought I'd brick my phone and then I tried it again and I waited and it worked I was like ah I wasted my time um, let's just boot it up and see what uh, it looks like and then I'll have further reviews of the the one on the Nexus S videos coming soon folks and uh, I'll have the battle out between Cyanogen 7 mod on the Nexus S overclocked versus exact same setup on the G2 phone and this will tell us which one actually has better hardware I'll, I'll run Linpack and all these other quadrant tests and um, so that's the video coming up but the first time it boots up it should take a long time because it's the first time but you know after the first time it should get faster so I'm just waiting here and uh, let's see if it pops up here Doop do do do. Taking forever. Anyway, I'll be back after it boots up. I don't want to waste you guys' time. Oh, there you go. So I got it here. Working. Um, adjust the camera. Skip. Next. Next. So this is the new Cyanogen mod 7. I've got the new left to right button there, which is cool. Settings about phone 2.3.3. Um as you can see, I've got the new Cyanogen 70425 2011 Nightly NS. Yeah. Anyway, I'll have further reviews of this awesome ROM. And uh, I'm going to go overclock it now so I can test it with my G2 phone and I'll have instructions on that too. So see y'all later.